Hello, I am Satish Kade. Today I am going to explain the concept from the subject cloud computing and that is the introduction of cloud computing. Introduction to the cloud computing. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services such as service, servers, storage database, networking, software, analytic intelligence and more over the cloud through internet. Cloud computing provides an alternative to the on-premises data center. With an on-premises data center, we have to manage everything such as purchasing and installing hardware, virtualization installing the operating systems and any other required applications, setting up the network, configuring the firewall and setting up storage for data. After doing all the setup, we become responsible for maintaining it through its entire life cycle. But if we choose a cloud computing, a cloud vendor is responsible for the hardware purchase and maintenance. They also provide a wide variety of software and platform as a service. We can take any required service on rent. The cloud computing service will be charged based on usage. Cloud service providers. These are the some cloud service providers that is the Rackspace, Joinit, Joint, Termark, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud, Amazon Web Services, VMware and Digital Oceans. The cloud environment provides an easily accessible online portal that makes handy for the user to manage the computer storage, network and applications resources. Now, the advantages of cloud computing. First one is the cost. It reduces the huge capital cost of buying hardware and software because all these things are provided by the vendor. Speed. Res resources can be accessed in a minute, typically within a few clicks. Third one is the scalability. We can increase or decrease the requirement of resources according to the business requirement. Then fourth one is the productivity. While using the cloud computing, we put less operational efforts. We do not need to apply patching as well as no need to maintain hardware and software. So in this way, the IT team can be more productive and focus on achieving business goals. Reliability. Backup and recovery of data are less expensive and very fast for business continuity and the last one is the security many cloud vendors offer a broad set of policies technologies and control that strength our data security now the type of cloud computing first is the public second one is private and third one is the hybrid cloud now what is mean by the public cloud the cloud resources that are owned and operated by the third party cloud service provider are termed as a public cloud. It, derive, it delivers computing resources such as servers, software and storage over the internet. Second one is the private cloud. That private cloud is the cloud computing resources that are executively use inside a single business or organizations are termed as a private cloud. A private cloud may physically be located on the company's on-site data centers or hosted by a third-party service provider. And what is meant by the hybrid cloud? It is the combination of public and private cloud which is bounded together by technology that allow the data applications to the shared between them, hybrid cloud provider flexibility and more deployment options to the business. Type of cloud services. Which type of services provided by the cloud? The first one is the infrastructure as a service. In infrastructure as a service, we can rent it infrastructure like service and virtual machine, storage networks, operating systems from a cloud service vendor, we can create VM running windows or Linux 
and install anything we want on it. Using infrastructure as a service, we don't need to care about the hardware or virtualization software. But other than that, we do we do how to manage everything else using infrastructure as a service we get maximum flexibility but still we need to put more efforts into maintenance second one is the platform as a service this service provides an on-demand environment for developing for developing and testing delivering and managing software applications the developer is responsible for the applications and the platform as a service vendor providers the ability to develop and run it using platform as a service the flexibility gets reduced but the management of the environment is taken care of by the cloud vendors third one is the software as a service it provides a centrally hosted and managed software services to the end user. It delivers softwares over the internet on demand and typically on a subscription basis. For example, Microsoft OnDrive, Dropbox, Word Process, Office 365 and Amazon Kindle service software as a service is used to minimize the operational cost to the maximum extent thank you